Hello, I'm Brian McFarlane, uh, founder and developer of Shiver Shield. Uh, it's a new line of hunting and outdoor clothing for extreme cold conditions. Um, you might be wondering uh, what Shiver Shield's all about and what makes Shiver Shield different than uh, other products that are out on the market. The basic difference with Shiver Shield's the insulative properties that the product has, and it's all developed in, uh, based on an insulation called Aerogel. As you can see, this is an example of Aerogel. It's thin, soft, pliable. Uh, it's a lot different from current insulations that are available in the garment industry out on the market today is it's not a lofty, fluffy type of insulation, which most garments are made of, which also lose a lot of their insulative properties uh, under compression. Uh, the aerogel itself is windproof, waterproof, and obviously has a lot of uh, thermal protection capabilities to it. Uh, what I want to show you and explain to you is, or give you an example of is the thermal protection that it can give you. We have just a standard block of dry ice here, which it should be about negative 110 degrees. As you can see, uh, it should be, uh, it's about 102 negative degrees right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this aerogel, this thin sheet of aerogel, lay it on top of the dry ice block uh, with thermocouples. You can see a thermocouple coming under the dry ice in the front. And we have a second thermocouple that I'll place on top of the aerogel. And as you can see, it gives you extreme thermal protection from 110 degrees negative to the ability to lay your hand directly on top of a block of dry ice. As we flick through, you can see that it'll maintain the temperature close to 90 degrees. And you can feel just a touch of uh, temperature change in it, but that's it. Um, we'll, we'll show you some thermal imaging, uh, some graphs from an infrared camera that will show you the in a color phase uh, what the insulation is really capable of doing. All right, well, I've had my hand on here for about five minutes now. Uh, the Aerogel has done a good job of protecting and preserving the heat underneath my hand. As you can see, the uh, temperature is still at about 79 degrees. You know, standard body temperature is about 98.6, but surface temperature of the body would be somewhere in the neighborhood of upper 80s to close to 90 degrees. So. We really only lost about 10 degrees of surface temperature over a five minute time period. I think this gives you a very good visual representation of the capabilities of the aerogel insulation and the kind of thermal protection that it'll give you. As the, the block of dry ice at negative 110 degrees is uh, nowhere even remotely close to any kind of environment that people would be either working or hunting in. We have two thermocouples on our thermometer here. One I'm going to hold inside the, inside the sleeve below this green leaf. We have another thermocouple tied to the nozzle of the liquid nitrogen. And we're going to spray liquid nitrogen onto the surface of it. You'll see the temperatures display. The big number will be the temperature of the nitrogen as it's applied to the garment. There'll be another number on the bottom left portion of your screen that will show the temperature inside the sleeve where I have my hand in, in uh, We'll show how the uh, aerogel helps protect the, against extreme, extreme colds. What's it reading now? Certainly got to have something colder than that, Adam. Now, inside the sleeve, feels pretty normal. Not, not really feeling a whole lot. And in my polypropylene shirt out of here, I can feel the cold temperatures coming across getting pretty cold.
I think we're short our point here. My neck and arm's starting to get pretty cold, but my hand's fine. So I think what we'll do is we'll go to the next stage and I'll put a set of the shiver shield on and we'll have him take a shot at me with the liquid nitrogen to see how it performs. Well, you've seen the uh, tabletop demonstration, the dry ice demonstration, so now for the ultimate demonstration. I've got a full set of uh, the Shiver Shield hunting, Shiver Shield silence hunting garments on. Got the pants, the coat, just my regular polypropylene golf shirt, so there's no insulative properties to it. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to zip on, zip up, put some protective garments on, uh, safety goggles, safety shield. I put a neck wrap on to help keep it from going down my neck. And we're going to have Adam spray me down with some liquid nitrogen to uh, show you what kind of capabilities this stuff really has. I'm not sure what else we could do to prove the thermal capabilities of the product. It's the coldest thing I know of, and if it'll withstand the liquid nitrogen, certainly it should withstand any kind of hunting season or any type of work environment.